region for loan. Okay, this one we're doing stratified sample. We've still got a factory of 500 people, but this time we're doing a stratified sample and we want 10 out of the 500. All right, uh, of this 500, 350 of the people there are male and 150 people are female. So, what do we have to do to work out this committee and have it stratified? What do we have to do? Kirby, what do we have to do? Well read. If you're doing stratified, the best way to do it is work out what percentage it is so you can work out the proportion. So what percentage is 350 or 500? How do you work it out? Excellent. 350 over 500 times 100 will give you 70%. So that's your percentage of male. How do you work out your percentage of female? You actually don't need to. Because realistically, if 70% are male, what percentage is female? You'd want to hope so. Though nowadays, we do have the option to select none of the above, or I'm not going to tell you. Okay. So, now what do we do? We know that there's 70% in blokes, so now what do we do? We've got a committee that we want to form of 10 people. What do we do? How? Say it out loud. Yep, why would it be 70% of 10? 70% of 10? There's 10 committee members. So you've got a committee of 10. What percentage of them should be blokes? 70, because you've got 70% in the factory of blokes. So you go 70% of 10 should be male. That says mate. Now it says male. So you should be able to work out 70% of 10 without a calculator, but if you can't, use a calculator. 70% times 10. And you should have 30% of the 10 should be female. So you should end up with seven blokes and three females. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Okay. Okay. In your calculator, type in 70% times 10. Just like that. So if it's 70% of 348, you just type that in. Does that make sense? Hmm. Ah, that's a legitimate question. Because a lot of the times the question, the numbers won't be nice. A lot of the times it will be 70% of 348. So yeah, but that's how you type it in. You just type that straight into your calculator, whatever the number happens to be, and that'll give you the answer. Cool? Now, the only problem with that is if you get a decimal, you'll have to round up or down. Okay, but you'll at least have the answer. Most of, to be honest, most of the questions in your HSC, if they're looking for a sample and they want a percentage, they'll give you numbers that work out relatively neatly. So you hopefully won't get 22.1 people. That would be awkward, unless we counted Jacob as the 0.1. Depends on whether he stops eating brains. So is everyone happy with that? Awesome. 